People of Interest is brought to you by People of Interest host and creator Ryan T. Barlow, who had the power inside of him the whole time. In today's economy, it is vital for people to start saving for retirement as early as they can. That's why acclaimed children's storybook writer Barry Stein created two new best-selling children's books to help very young children get a jump start on saving for retirement. Rachel Raccoon's Roth IRA and Freddie Fox's 403B. <laughs> These books are a colorful and exciting book that uh, aim to get toddlers to begin planning for their future. Barry Stein, welcome. Thank you. Now, uh, your previous works uh, included uh, Timothy Turtle ties his shoes and uh, Percival Porcupine says please. Uh, why move into uh, savings for children? I don't see this as a departure. Um, <laughs> um, every particular book I have has a valuable lesson towards adulthood. Mm -hmm. Saying please is essential to the bartering system. <laughs> and, um, I just think that um, once they graduate towards consumer uh, ideas, mm -hmm. then they can begin producing their own assets. Sure. Excellent. Now, uh, this is also in response to, uh, pe people say that, you know, it's never too early to save, and, and you're saying that it really it never is too early to save. Uh, how can these kids really start saving? I mean, is it really the best idea for them? Should they be spending it on bubble gum or candy? Well, I think saving begins in the womb, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there is rich, rich, rich material. Yeah. Um, it just lays unused um, for months on end. Yes. And I believe that if you um, can harness the power of that um, mix of blood and fluid, and nutrients, obviously, right. by consuming some of it and replacing it into the, um, not exactly the stomach, but the esophagus, right. um, you can harness that power as soon as you come out of that birth canal. Oh, that, I mean, I guess there's, uh, since uh, fetuses can't read, it must be a hard market to try to, to reach that audience. Uh, you are eerily prescient for my next series of books. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'll read a line of fetal storybooks, um, then uh, after that, obviously, we're going to go toward the embryonic market, <laughs> uh, beyond which there only leaves the zygotes in the <laughs> Very lucrative. Uh, as far as I know, untapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and stem cells. You know, so stem cells are just huge right now. It's a little controversial for yeah. me. I tend to say out of politics. <laughs> and says, um, but side goes run away with this. Right. Uh, just like uh, uh, Peter Porcupine stays out of politics. Right. Yes. Yeah. That was that was, that was one of my favorites, really. Thank you very much. Uh, I think there's some subtleties in there that might go unnoticed. <laughs> For instance, when uh, Peter gets introduced to Annie the Aardvark, um, and they exchange not a debate as most people would say it. But, um, refreshing collaborative exchange of ideas. <laughs> that is a combination of the judicial system as I understand it today. You know, I really I really saw it uh, first, you know, to sort of move away from the ad hominem attack. But really that extra layer, I think, you know, I think do you think the kids are picking up on that? Oh obviously they are. <laughs> Um, uh, when I speak to them in my various uh, press events and book readings and book signings, I will hear many a child say, Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's understood. There. <laughs> uh, so there has been uh, an uptick in uh, IRAs and uh, 401ks, the occasional 403b for the, the more uh, civic minded child who's working for a nonprofit. Uh, do you see that as a direct result of your book, or are parents perhaps just getting smarter with their kids? I um, am not very quick to assign causation to such correlations, sure. <laughs> but it's obviously my hope that I'm making a difference in this way, and I don't want to uh, pat myself on the back. I think there are other authors out there 
um, other leading contributors to the movement. Um, sure. Mr. Rogers, I thought, was fantastic. <laughs> yes. um, and I think I'm just standing on, um, on the shoulders of, of these great economic children influencers. <laughs> that's, you know, it's very refreshing to hear a lot of, you know, children's book, you know, they don't really acknowledge where they come from, a lot of authors. And uh, who, who else are your, uh, your uh, luminaries, the people that you look up to? Uh, Tolstoy, I think. Is <laughs> um, lots of people don't label him as a children's author, but I think it's all in there. Uh, you have both war, which is the battle of survival as a child, and peace, which is the suckling on the teeth. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now, some people have argued that your uh, that your movement with these books, uh, you know, sort of endorsing the capitalist progress uh, uh, process, has is uh, sort of a, a mea culpa. A lot of people see that you your previous books have more of a communist or socialist leaning. Uh, some some people have argued that. I understand these interpretations. I'm familiar with the Gramsci line of reasoning here. <laughs> um, I just think that people are reading too much politics into my program. My program is explicitly apolitical. It is about practical advice for the young consumer. Um, there are tons of influencers out there, and I think that they should be as savvy as possible, as early as possible. And I really think politics just meddles with the whole thing. Communist, um, capitalist, I don't think that I'm pushing an agenda here. You're just trying to help kids in their future. Yeah. They have piggy bags that need to be filled, and they shouldn't be cracking them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but now you, you do also advocate not just putting them in the piggy bank, but putting them in you know a long term mutual fund that uh, will eventually grow and and you advocate obviously the, the Roth IRA so that they can access it from time to time without paying a tax penalty. Well, yeah, I mean obviously the piggy bank is a metaphor to help right. them understand the notions of um, advanced retirement planning and savings. Um, and uh, the, the cracking in this sense is that. Um, um, just um, frivolous wastefulness that, uh, that's, that so many of us uh, have, and that, that, that desire of, um, of, of really not taking enough care of that nest egg and yeah. not taking care of the future. Now, uh, you know, obviously some, some older, uh, some young, you know, uh, some young adults probably would benefit from this as well. Do you feel that you, you know, some people, I guess, say that you know your books would be they're aimed towards children, they're too simplistic. But do you think that they would have practical applications for people in high school, college, out of college? I think my books are for everyone. Um, obviously, I'm tailoring them toward the youth, so there are simple words, there are fantastic allegories, there are alliterative animals. Um, but um, the human population, um, I find to be exceedingly dumb. And, um, Teenagers, adults, yourself, frankly, <laughs> greatly <laughs> overly stupefied uh, explanation. Uh, okay. Uh, well, just to wrap things up, uh, where? Uh, so I have four hundred one k. Uh, should I be diversifying? What, what should I be doing right At now? this point, you're basically dead. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been uh, diversifying long ago. At this point, you should be all in the safest mutual funds possible. Uh, because you, you're, what, 29? <laughs> You've got almost no life left. <laughs> I wish I'd caught you earlier. <laughs> I wish a three-year-old were in your seat right now. <laughs> that little three-year-old could do a much better job than her. Well, he's uh, signed. I'd like to say it was a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Actual support for People of Interest is brought to you by Philly Improv Theater, Philly's home for comedy. In addition to shows every week of the year, FIT offers classes in improv, sketch, and stand-up. For more information, visit phillyimprovtheater.com.